everyone, today we're talking about chatter notifications. Notifications can be a downright pain or they can be super useful and chatter is no exception. So let's understand how we can organize and maintain our notifications in chatter. First up, muting posts. Muting posts is a great way to stop notifications from chatter because every post that you mute, you are not going to get notifications for any updates to that post. Just remember that if someone mentions you on a muted post, then that post will automatically become unmuted. It will reappear in your feed, and if you have email notifications enabled, then you'll get an email notification about that update. If the post was originally posted to a group, or a profile, or a record feed, then it's still going to appear on that feed, even if you yourself have muted it. You can mute a chatter post by using the drop down menu on the post or just replying to the post in the comments with the word mute. Now there are different parts of notifications or different types of notifications and obviously the notification bell is one of them within Salesforce but we also have email notifications as well. And one type of email notification that we can get from chatter is our email digests. And our email digests are just summaries of the activities from a user's chatter feed. These are emailed to you and you can set them to be either daily or weekly. Users can edit their own posts in chatter by default and a Salesforce admin can actually edit any post by any user. Following records means that any time a change is made to that particular record, then you're going to get a notification for it. 